Welcome. Um, welcome. We have somebody dressed up in a whole astronaut outfit. I'm telling you, you meet some interesting people running a coffee shop, apparently. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, the usual earthling linguistic problem. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not reading that. Okay. Ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um... Is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please, pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Oh, wow, okay. Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far, have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything? Anything. Oh. Okay, so I guess we just deciding what they want to drink, huh? Okay, okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm going to do some milk. Wait, no. I'm going to do, never mind. Oh, wait, remove it. Reset. we will do some cocoa powder some milk, and some cinnamon. There we go. Hopefully they'll like this. Let's serve it. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Well, that doesn't make me feel better about putting all this effort into making you a drink. That does not make me feel better. Okay, let us drink this. Why is he, oh, okay, that's how they drink. Okay, okay. Um, yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? I figured that out already. That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what we call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes. We wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single use pollutants on your planet. Oh, yeah, that's so true. The poor turtles. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthling's decision-making process. 
Yeah, sometimes. Unfortunately. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hand on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. Okay, that, that tells me nothing. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. Uh, okay, that's fine. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then? Breed. Oh. Okay. So you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date? I don't know if you can even call it a date. He said breed. That don't sound like companionship. <laughs> That's a different thing. Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. <laughs> er, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are... Our <laughs> There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. <laughs> Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although, the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about... Wait. Are you talking about a dating app? This system used a fire symbol as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. <laughs> if you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Okay, it's not that simple. Breeding? I don't... Um... Err. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. <laughs> I think he's oversimplifying. <laughs> I think they're oversimplifying it a little bit. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I, I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. Aww. But some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go various even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places. Yes? Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Oh, are they here? Is this is this it? Good evening, miss. We've met before. She was here last time. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. Okay. Uh oh, I don't remember how to make a cafe latte. 
I don't remember. There it is. Okay. I don't drink coffee in real life, so <laughs> I really have no idea what's in all of these drinks. <laughs> Alright, let's serve it up. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Oh. Can I help you with something? Okay. <laughs> It's like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. He's still over there thinking. He's <laughs> still. Um. Um, excuse us. Yes. Are you waiting for someone? She rolls her eyes. <laughs> Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> she get mad. You better, sir, you better calm down. You better calm down. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Yurikai69? Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So... You have not answered our question. Are you Orc High 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I've never used Uruk High 69 anywhere. Oh. Well, so we finally know her name. Her name's Myrtle. You really are not her. <laughs> her face, she's bad. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we do not have any friends on Earth. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, what activities are you talking about? According to the search results, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting, like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Myrtle. Look at me, Myrtle, we're like, what? Myrtle rolls her eyes. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Aww. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm... That was, we are pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a kind of new feeling. 
This has happened before. Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategy... <laughs> I was about to say tragedies. <laughs> strategies, in fact. Your kind never cease to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will still visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Jazzy Boo. Thank you for your time, Jazzy Boo. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way. The uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care on your way. That was an interesting interaction. <laughs> what? That was kind of crazy. Whoa, boy. Who the heck was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? <laughs> Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. <laughs> Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Look at her face. She's like, please. Like Englishmen in New York? Alien or alien alien? <laughs> alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but... Wow. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Look at her face. Eh... Okay, did you do it or not, Freya? What's going on? What? What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. What do you mean, no? Please don't. What do you mean? Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, Maybe I can share some feedback. Right? Exactly. Let me help you. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along? Hee <laughs> hee. I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Um, it's okay for you. Mm. <sighs> Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see.
How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. <laughs> That's because you're not the inspiration. <laughs> Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. <laughs> prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Who's coming? Oh, welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? New character. Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I ordered something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai, please. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's see. Masala chai. So that's a tea. Is it is still okay, undiscovered. Um okay, we have nothing here. Nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's some tea. What's this? That's lemon. Ginger, honey, it said with spices. I have no idea what that is. Am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know what this is? Um, how about, what's this? Spices, huh? Uh, I don't know what counts as a spice here. We got tea, um, uh, I don't know, ginger. Cinnamon, this is probably nasty. <laughs> this can't be good. I have no idea. You know what? We're just going to do it. I, I don't know what that is. And there's nowhere for me to tell what that is. What's this? These are all undiscovered things, and I don't have a clue what it is. Masala chai, then, please. What's a masala chai? I don't know. Okay, you know what? We're going to make it. It's probably going to be gross. I'm sorry. But I, I don't know what you're asking me for, so I hope you like it. I believe this is the drink you were talking about. It's it's probably not the drink, but I don't know how to make what you're talking about. From the look of it, I think so. It's probably wrong. Let's give it a taste. It's probably nasty. I'm so sorry. Uh-oh. This? Is it bad, miss? Oh, no. It's really good. You lying. It just brought it just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. Oh, she made herself the main character in the book. Okay. If the reader knows me, They'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. I guess that's true. If you say so. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or nonfiction stories about people in the town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. 
In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Oh, Freya's mad. Hey. Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book, if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. <laughs> a lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Uh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Jazzy Boo. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write. But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of field are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something that media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my. I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Haha. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes. You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Hmm, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. She's so nervous. Oh. My name is Myrtle. Er, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah. I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queer <laughs> we <laughs> we submitted queries through your department's contract form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course. Should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now. But, um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking <laughs> This Full Metal- <laughs> This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that's the one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals. But I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. And, inf and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. <laughs> You're not the first to say that I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to the mainstream games. Hence, a lot of players are not gamers and they're more accessible to play. 
but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Uh, sorry, I rambled on for too long. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know. <laughs> Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Jazzy Boo. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Bye, Myrtle. Please be careful on your way back. Gosh, these interactions are so good. Freya? So? Yes? That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Your face? <laughs> Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. <laughs> really? You're mysterious. That much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the experience. <laughs> I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. <laughs> well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> 